the Adobe Premiere Pro now, and you want to make sure that you set your project up properly. This is really important. So uh, I'm going to do a new project. Most of this you can leave alone. Just give it a, give it a name, and go ahead and click on OK. And right here, this is important. So I'm going to go to my HDV, it means HD video. Open up the little tab right here, and you're going to want to do 1080p at 24 frames a second. And so that means there's going to be 24 pictures every second that makes the video actually look like a video, right? So again, HDV, HDV 1080p at 24p.24. Click OK. And now you've got this whole view. Uh, I'm going to go and remember where we just downloaded that YouTube video into our downloads folder. It should show up now as one of the, as a video, right? All you have to do is drag and drop this into your project folder over here, and it will add it as a possibility. If you want more, you basically can add more videos, and you'll see they just show up down here as videos. Now, to bring these videos into Premiere Pro and only have just one part of the video in it, you double-click the video here, and then basically up here, you can say, all right, I can hit play to listen to the video, and if I'm like, hey, I just want to have this one part right here, I click on it, I press this uh, mark in, or that button, and see how now all this is selected. If I want to say, all right, I just want the video from there to like right here, I click my mark out button right here. And now you can see just that part of the video is highlighted. So now if I click up here and drag it down into my timeline down here, it will add just that part of the video. So you just click and drag it down into the video. And right here, if it asks you, do you want to change your sequence settings, you're actually going to click yes because it's going to make sure that the settings match the, the settings of that video that you originally had. So click on change sequence settings. And now if you click this part right here, you can see I have this video in my timeline. Now, if I want to add another video, just one part of it, look it. I can just go back into my project folder over here, double click the video, go to the part of the video that I want to uh, bring in, hit my mark in, click where I want to go for the end of the video, click my mark out, and once again, just click and drag it from here to here. And now you can see that basically it's going to now go, if I click the space bar right now or hit the play button right here, it's going to play this video. Friday, January 20th. And then right where it goes over, boom, it switches to the next video. So that's basically how you go in and take different clips of videos and put them together, okay? Now, if you had audio that you, a song you had made in Ableton Live, remember to get it out of Ableton Live and into this Premiere Pro as, a, as an audio file you basically need to export that audio from Ableton. And I'll just show you real quick again how to do this. Say you've got uh, a song and you want to export it. Come on, buddy. All right, so say I want to export this. First of all, I would click my record button up here to record all these clips that I want to mix together. And so right now, anything that you guys hear is being recorded to my final track for Ableton Live. So if I were to hit stop now, and then switch over to arrangement view, boom, exactly what I just showed you guys I was recording is right here. And so I then would just either drag and select it all, or control A on my keyboard, control plus A to select all. I would go to file, export audio, leave all these settings alone, click export, and I could save it in my my music, uh, my music library folder, and let's click on save. And now, now that that's saved as an audio clip, look, at, I can go into my Premiere Pro project, open up my folders again right here, and I'm going to go to what I saved this one in my music library, music, and there it is. And so now I can just, just like the video, I can drag it into here. So now it's in my project folder, and now I can say, all right. I can either drag the entire audio clip down under an audio track in the timeline, or if I just want to do one part of it, I double click on it right here, and I say I just want this one part of the audio to be in this video. So go in, mark it in, mark it out, and then drag this 
into here. I think it's not going to let me because this is there. Delete that. Drag it in. See how I did that? So I just went right here, dragged it into my video. And of course, later on too, you can also edit audio clips by opening them up right here. And you can hover over them where you see that little icon. You can click and drag it to cut off other parts of the audio. Or if you want more of the clip, you can click and drag it out to make it bigger. And also keep in mind if you want to raise the volume of these audio tracks, you click on the little yellow line right there and you drag it up or down to lower the volume on it. And you can do the same for, see this audio right here? This one is connected to this video. And so if I want to lower or raise the audio of that one, I go to the yellow line and drag it up or down. Also, if you, for whatever reason, want to move a video clip in your timeline later, move it around, see how the audio goes along with it down below. Say I want to detach that audio from the video, you just right click on it and click on, where are you? Unlink right here. So unlink. Now I could technically click on this audio from the video and move it. And if I just wanted to keep the audio from this video, I could just delete the video and now I would just have the audio from it that I could then mix with another part of this different video that I had in here. So again, basically you're just going to mix different clips of your video together to get it going. And on the next tutorial, I'll show you how to bring in a custom logo and make a intro for your video. Good luck out there, guys.